Some moderator tool kind of popped up. I was kind of like, yo. Cool. Let's just do a yo. <clears throat> right in. Three, two, one. Yo! What is up, guys? Welcome to Vibe Check. Episode 23. Woo! Control your. Is control is your security blanket? <laughs> security blanket. So, um, believe it or not, you guys have heard us mention Mickey. Uh, time, uh, uh, sorry, we're like, I'm not gonna lie, we're both pretty, pretty rushed right now. <laughs> He's got to zip to the gym and I have to zip to the studio. But um, I just want to say, uh, Mickey, who's our uh, good buddy of ours, he beloved, um, beloved dear friend, he, he he is saved by the Lord, and he, that brings out some of the most in depth conversations. And we're talking here at Chipotle, um, believe it or not, going pretty in depth in there. And um, one way or another, it got brought up about like how the feeling of control and having control in not a malicious like. Is that, is that good? Yeah, we're good. I hear a car. Is this a door? Bathroom window. Oh, sick. Oh, right. We're bad. I don't give a shit. I'm so bad. <laughs> Anyways. Do you think? Um, we're talking about like how um, control, not like in a manipulative, controlling way, like, oh, I need this power, but like having things within your power and being responsible is a security blanket for you because it allows you to protect yourself from getting hurt. Robbie, do you know what I'm talking about? I know exactly what you're talking about. So well, that's the gist of everybody in life. Like whatever makes us feel comfortable is a sense of, of control in a way. We, as humans, we are designed to want to control as much as we possibly can to lessen our anxiety, um, sometimes even our depression. In a way, I could see like your lack of your control over your emotions could cause depression and a lack of control in your future could cause the anxiety. Um, so it's actually an interesting concept, but when you learn to let go and just let God be in full control. I feel like that's where ultimate peace comes from. And so that's kind of like what we're going to talk about today. And if you want to right. join along and receive this message, feel free to tune in for the rest of the 10 minutes. And what's up, guys? <laughs> I know we're on live and I couldn't miss that comment. I love you too, Kenga. Ken Kenja? Is that how you pronounce it? Um, but yeah, guys, always, if you have any questions um, or anything relating to the topic, please feel free to comment it. We'll share it. I think we would be doing ourselves a disservice if I didn't say... You guys need to check out episode 22. Honestly, that was life changing. <laughs> that was really good. I literally felt like God was speaking through us on that podcast. It wasn't like a, oh, I was really proud of what I said there. Anointment. You know, it was great. Us. Yeah, it was an anointed podcast right there. And uh, if you guys tune back to episode 22, you guys are going to get a lot out of it. and Share it with your friends, family. Not to boost our content or whatever, but like I, I really feel that it's going to cultivate a lot of change and empower you guys. So yeah, sure check honestly, out. I, I don't think we pushed our podcast enough. Like, yeah, sure. we may throw on an Instagram story here and there, but we really got to push more guys because, um, and even fortunately, uh, and even for, and fortunately, um, the views lately, you guys have been loving that. Have you seen Michael and the <laughs> series? Um, <laughs> we've been getting more migration and we're like, okay, there's going to be more viewers seeing the podcast and we want to take it out a lot more seriously. So, um, uh, we, uh, we also have this new background that it's, it's Robbie set so up. Much, so much better. It, it's so much better. It, it's pretty gas. I'm not gonna lie. And um, we're gonna incorporate more guests. There's actually uh, we had guests the last several weeks, but due to my and Robbie's uh, very busy schedule today, um, that was not uh, feasible. However, um, we're just gonna be, be putting a lot more effort into this. Whether it's um, sharing it, whether it's telling people about it, having guests. So stay tuned for all that. So yeah. Uh, Cause we haven't been pushing it enough. So we gotta, we gotta, we gotta be a little promo. We are creating and putting up a podcast. So every uh, week we've been consistent. Yeah. We've been killing this. Brian, baby. I've been having Come so much on. fun with this too. And guys, to go back to the topic, I just want to add that myself, I'll use myself as an example. So, um, having divorced parents money, not that it was, Oh, we're broke. We were okay. It was the fact that like, Hey dad, uh, can I get money for this field trip as a kid? It's like, hey, ask your mother. It's like, why don't you ask your asshole father? Maybe that's a little uh, TMI, too much info. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't, I haven't heard anyone use that term in so long. Yeah, that's a little outdated lingo. What, what, what would the new way, what, no, new lingo be? <laughs> I don't know. I, don't, I think everybody loves spelling their emotions, so it doesn't really exist. That's fucking gas. <laughs> Everybody's like, vulnerability. Vulnerability. Never TMI. Yeah, keep so. It, keep it flowing. Literally, yeah, I'm going to be honest. Just, I added that context just to uh, emphasize the intensity of how it could be. And so, 
money, always having money, um, that's like a, in a way, like a control of like, oh yeah, like if I have this, it's like, and I could see it somehow getting out of my comfort zone or stopping me from just giving and being more giving because, and this is mainly back then, because it was hard to even get back then. It's like, oh, well, I'm going to have less. And I, mm. I, if I have this issue with, you know, I don't want to be screwed. I, I might need to say my own ass. Mm. Um, and so control, even with, because I know money is really related, a really well thing with people. Um, it can stop you from getting out of your comfort zone. But Robbie, what do you think? Um, how do you think comfort zone ties into this? You know, what I love about this podcast is very vulnerable and on the spot. And so we don't come in here thinking like, oh, this is exactly what we're going to say. We don't have like a sketchbook. Or yeah, we literally do this. But <laughs> just literally out of our conversation that we're having right now, control is actually very fascinating to me because if you think about it, um, I think everybody loves the fact that you can be in control as much as you can. But I think when you push yourself a little bit outside of that and you, you start to do things that maybe you're uncertain of or unaware of or that you maybe can't control to your fullest capacity, that's where growth is found. So I feel like instead of, um, you definitely don't want to go all out and just be like, hey, I just want to do everything out of my control because that's you're putting your own emotions at the stake of everybody else. So. But if you can um, if you have your lifestyle under control, I could see like adding little things that um, maybe you aren't in control of or maybe trying something new or adding something to your life or adding more of a, a passion, for example. Adding something to your life like that, like one step at a time, at little baby steps, is the best way to cultivate growth because if you're getting 1% better every day, if you look back over, back at over a year, you're 365 times better than the person you were at the beginning of the year. So <laughs> it's kind of cool. It's like... It's literally the perfect answer. You gotta get this guy in on reality television again. <laughs> the price is right wasn't enough. Um, and yeah, you know, even building on top of that, um, and where the most growth, where the most growth, <laughs> where the most growth is found, um, this security blanket. It's good to have security, but we talk about money, and you guys can relate to that. But let me give you another example um, of my of my own experience. Even moving to Los Angeles, so it's like where I live. Is my like your money, which is like your career, and where you live is all. <laughs> I'm just like waiting. You're just sm- slowly grinning. I'm just like that's like, making me okay. smile. Okay. <laughs> because career, I know. I my um my half my family is Hungarian, and I remember my grandpa. Shay, okay, you need to. Uh, this is your grandma. My grandpa. Oh, grandpa. Grandpa. It's oh, like grandma. Shay, okay, you need to. Uh, Look and see what major uh, will make good money for your career. And Shane, uh, <laughs> it's a, uh, you need to. <laughs> and then my, when he's mad, hey, what the fuck? <laughs> well, anyways. What's his primary language? Is it English or? Uh, Hungarian. Really? Yeah. Wow. Um, you know any? Um, Other yeah. than that one word? Uh, Basme Kurva. And? I can't say that. <laughs> we got kids watching this live. Figure it out. Look it up on Google. <laughs> Don't <Translate>. do that. <laughs> How could Shane do that? No, but I actually feel like I know exactly what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bust me, cool. Anyways, um, cool. Uh, money within your control where you live. And my dad, you know, he's like, okay, Shane. So, uh, I'm, my dad's not a bad guy. I don't, I don't want you guys thinking like, okay, he's very like. It, your parents will care about you. So you tell your parents, hey, I'm gonna move to Los Angeles and. Uh, be a famous actor and make millions. It's like, whoa. <laughs> okay, we need to be a little bit more realistic here. Like that. They like, all say that. Yeah. Because you know why? They love have that sense of control. It's that security blanket, man. Get out of here with that. Take <laughs> Yo, the blanket. That's for five year olds, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, but my dad's like, okay, Shane, so are you telling me? Oh, no, Shane, now hold on. Now hold on. What if this uh, TikTok and YouTube just disappear? What are you going to do? And Los Angeles doesn't even have water. It's so expensive. Like, how are you going to afford it? So it's all lack of security. And I just told my dad, I'm going to make it happen. Because I knew, um, this is what we can actually uh, relate to Brandon Kamea about, what we respect about him. He would say, you got to, like, be in this competitive environment. And it's going to push you to, like, do more. Yeah. Um, For example, the metaphor that he's used. He's using right now for our friend Brandon. Our friend Brandon, he was like, "Well, I'm not, more in the middle. I'm not sure if I can necessarily afford this apartment. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get one more expensive, and it's going to force me to make more money, which is 
a little bit out of his control, but it's going to force him to be better at the end of the day. So I do like that aspect. I think I mean, it's like swinging two baseball bats and mm -hmm. then you're swinging one just to adjust quicker to the uh, quicker pitch. Yeah. Um, so it's like you you, you are thing. capable. It's yeah. just like a, a mindset thing and you, you got to yeah. trick your body. Same exact thing. It's like going hard for like a push in sales, for example. Um, if you like really heighten your goal for like one month, for example, it's like, okay, once you're in like the back of the back of the normal group of things, your skill set's gonna be so much stronger, so you're gonna get so much more sales or experience or time pocketed in a way, like extra time for yourself, because you're doing what you could have done in one month in a week. Exactly. And it's like, even when you live, <clears throat> even when you live, and you know, it's like, well, what convinced me to move to Los Angeles? And you guys might be asking, okay, so like, if control cannot be my security blanket, then what will X be? Um, there is the ultimate answer, but I'll, I'll, I'll bridge you to it. Hmm. One will be your self-confidence. When you know, hey, like, I am who I am, this is my self-worth, and you're very self-aware, this image you see of yourself, you're, you're like, you understand your potential, and then you don't need the control because you know that you're strong enough that even without control, like whether it's where you live, money or relationships, maybe we should dive in that a little bit. Um, I will in a second. But you realize that you don't need the control here because you're stronger than that. And that even if it goes wrong, as we always say, these failures end up being slingshots and you go up, up, up. Relationships. If you choose to see it that way. True, you true. Have you have to choose. You have the choice. It's all positive thinking. Yeah. What you would you have to say about relationships? Relationships, like how to control as, relationships, like how could like be, like even controlling think, relationships be scary blanket. I think at the end of the day, relationships should all be founded out of love, and if you are trying control, the only thing that you have control over is yourself. As far as relationships go, um, in my personal opinion, I don't think you should ever try to control. If you ever feel the need to, that's out of your own insecurity, um, out of your past previous circumstances. So I feel like love in and of itself needs to be completely born out of and freedom. And you are the only person to blame, motherfucker. <laughs> no, like, like I feel like love needs to be cultivated out of a place of freedom and purity and like, hey, like this is all love, but if I feel the need to like, you know, harbor or control or hover over my significant other, that's, that's where I need to check my own heart. If I were in that situation or position, then I'm like, what do I need to, you know, work through by myself? Obviously I'm not ready for this relationship or uh, what's even better about relationships. It's not all about, Hey, you need, you have this problem. You need to fix that. Like pointing it out in the other individual and saying, you know, Hey, I see like what you're struggling with there, but you know, I, I'd like to come alongside and help you with this journey to help overcome this together. Cause that's what it's all about. It's not about, Oh, I'm going to find somebody else because the grass is greener on the other side. It's really greener where you water it. And I feel like through that love, like time and commitment, that's where love is really found is under the hard, hard conversations, the hard, experiences that you go through together and that's where um true love is found because you know romantic love comes and goes but a true love christ i mean died on the cross for our sin so it's about as loving as it gets that's facts i mean guys even building on top of that you're looking at you know this love and it's like okay what about you find so much trust that you don't if you're feeling the need to have control in relationships um, one, it could be maybe the people around you are triggering you, in, triggering you in ways to where you're like, wait, that's not cool. They could maybe not be the right, right people for you. Maybe, the, maybe they're not the best people. Or as he said, it could be that um, deep down insecurity that you are projecting upon to them. It could be your own trust issues or um, any sort of negative feeling that could be derived from trauma or whatever that may be. But it's something that is bleeding into your relationship and control is what you're taking advantage of to not get hurt in these relationships. But, um, and then leading to the number one answer, what I was talking about, taking that, typically I, uh, I've been having a lot of peace in mind with my relationships and I too, again, I talked about money, I talked about uh, my living situation, I'll use my own self again for relationships, I'll hit the hat trick. Um, I did like control relationships because I was like, man, like people are gonna, betray me or they're gonna screw me over. Like I have to make sure things are like good because I know I'm not gonna screw them over, but I can't let them screw me over. That cannot happen. But lately I'm like, wait, that's too energy draining. It's too time consuming. I don't have time for that bullshit. It's not worth it. I, 
I've been finding peace with people who have uh, found the Lord and it's not because it's like, oh, you found God? Okay, cool, like, we're cool, we're good. It's just typically these people um, who are saved by Christ and I'm not trying to be sneaky. I'm being, I'm being completely straight up with what I'm saying. Even before I was really running with God, even in high school, like my best friends happened to be people that were saved, people that had the most trust in it. I think it's because they have that selflessness um, through their giving ways, through being Christ-like that they don't, it's hard for them to even carry this malicious intent. And I have a lot of peace with it. So my only answer, because that is out of your control, like how people act, what they do to you, and who you meet in your life, that's like out of your control. My, my only advice, the only answer I have that I know can apply to any situation is typically if they're through Christ, you guys are kind of chasing the same dream in a way and on the same path. Yeah. I don't have trust issues with that. I feel good. And with anything coming out from like outer perspectives, whether it be other people or experiences, the beautiful thing is, guys, I've mentioned this before, you get to choose what you receive out of situations or people's mouths, whatever it may be. Or even yourself sometimes. Like you're your biggest self critic. And so think of like think of your own thoughts as like racing forward in front of you. And um, you know this metaphor, like some people have a little angel on their shoulder, or some people have a little devil on their shoulder, that kind of thing. Think of the We mentioned that in the last slide. Yeah. Dude. Think of it's your own one. think of your own thoughts as those um, characters, you know, spitting, you know, their opinions in front of you. And you get to choose which one you want to listen to all the time. Like, even if you're inside your own head, your own thoughts, you're like, oh, I'm not good enough. It's like, I, I am good enough. I'm not going to receive that one. Um, but at the same time, um, the ones that are like saying like, you know, hey, you, you actually got this. Like, you're confident enough to step into this and crush it. We receive that. <laughs> receive that. Receive and, that. Um, and, and the more you practice that, the more your mind is going to get used to it and familiarize itself with um, these positive affirmations that you're giving yourself. So continue to do that. Amen. <laughs> so... Didn't you do that? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I wanted to cover, okay, we got relationships. We got oh, And another thing, touch yeah. on relationships, last thing. Whenever you're entering into a relationship, I feel like the biggest thing to be aware of moving forward with that, um, when you're really checking your own heart, see if you're ready, is at the end of the day, entering in a relationship should always be um, cultivated with the foundation of, I'm gonna make this individual better at the end of this experience, if there is an end. Uh, whatever that experience might be, it's like, hey, we're gonna better each other throughout this experience rather than break each other down. Um, so Mutually always, giving. Always having that intention in mind, I feel like it's pretty crucial. 100%. And uh, yeah, guys, so relationships, when I'm not saying, I'm not, my answer is not, oh, just find people who, who are Christian and you're good. But typically, um, and I said this was number two leading up to it, just to close up this point, um, I'm actually surprised I remember that. Um, usually I forget at this point, um, especially being as rushed as I am right now. But your confidence, that self-awareness, that is my answer on like, you know, realistically on this earth of how, you know, to feel less of a need for control. But ultimately, um, when I put my faith in Christ and I, I found peace in the storm and I'm like, you know, Lord, if... These people are just screw me over or whatever. Just please provide clarity that even if they wrong me, it's going to be for my best benefit and get me to my destination faster. And it has been. Um, like the Lord will literally like pick up people and like put better ones suited in your life. And that's, it's not because the people we took, took away are bad people. It's just because they're not meant to go to the heights that you're going. They're not going to be on your journey. You have to expand. And sometimes that means even losing them. But... I know that's a hard thing relationships, but I'm telling you, when you let the control, you, you know, don't worry about it, you have so much energy, leave that to God, you have so much more time, whether it's your living situation, whether it's money, um, anything, or whatever we cover, whatever we, that we didn't even cover in this uh, live, control does not need to be your security blanket. Your security blanket, again, there's two answers I'll say, that, that's your self worth, your self-respect, your self-confidence, your self-awareness. It's all within yourself because if you put any of your happiness that depend, like if any of your happiness depends on anybody, then they, then that's, some of your happiness is outside your control. But if it's all within yourself, it's all completely within your control. However, easier said than done. I knew that would like be my secret of peace of mind, but I wasn't able to obtain that, which I have now, fortunately, if it wasn't for the Lord and putting the control into him and his plan. So, 
You guys take that, take that with what you will. Just remember to let go and let God. Exactly. Is there anything else like that? Or we, we're all set. That is it. Just give Shane Nagy a follow on Instagram. Nah, give this guy a follow. Give him a follow on Instagram, Robbie J. Bobby. Uh, I'm going to start putting... Um, I got to start putting our social media links in our in these videos because they're yes. in the beginning. I, I haven't been doing that. We've just been boom, boom. I'm going to do that, guys. So uh, it'll be easier for you guys to migrate over. You want to follow us on anything else. Um, we'll be live next Monday and we'll, uh, I'm sure we'll have another guest. Um, but yeah, uh, we are in a rush, but um, this was a good 20 minute live. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Much love and continue paying forward. Love, JC. Take care. <laughs>